What's going on guys, Sean Gutz here back with another video. Guys, I just got a fresh mid fade. I can't show you the sides. From my guy, JT Faded. JT, he used to be in front of me in the shop. You guys seen him in a lot of videos. You guys asked for a mid fade, so I finally got one. I'm gonna be off for the baby for a few weeks, so I thought it was time to go short. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, we're gonna jump right into this cut. You can see my hair is super grown out. I definitely need a haircut, looking crazy. And guys, the idea here is to get a mid fade with a pretty heavy weight line, leave my crop on top. We're gonna trim it just a little bit. But guys, the reason I asked JT to do this, you guys had asked that I get a mid fade. I keep getting a taper, and a few of you left a comment to get a mid fade. One of the things JT is the best at is doing exactly what we're doing in this cut. We wanna put the weight line in, we wanna pack a fade in right underneath, not take off too much weight. Um, and that's kind of a skill set that's a little bit difficult. So he's really good at setting his guidelines, setting his sections, and staying within those. So right now he's got a number six on his ergo. He's gonna go up into that weight line and set up the side for the fade. Now I did my best to ask him what he was using as we went because obviously guys, he uses a different system, different guards. This is an Ergo with the Babyliss guard as far as I know. So I'm not really gonna be able to tell you guys exactly what he's doing. As far as I know right now, we are going from the six to a four, down to a three and a two. We're gonna cut the side down, basically get the bottom of it down to a two before we come in and do the ball guideline. Now we're gonna come in and set the ball guideline. These are the cordless wall detailers. Trimmer that I don't use, you guys have not seen me use that on my channel. I don't really know why I never grabbed one. Uh, basically just good with what I have. So he's gonna punch in his guideline with the detailer. We're gonna drop it in the back. If you guys have seen my haircut before, I have a crazy double crown. So we're gonna drop it in the back to make sure that we leave the length in the crown so it can lay down. Go ahead and bald it out. And guys, I don't like a shaver on my neck, only on the sideburns, so we'll shaver that and then we can start our first step. Now for the first step, we're gonna come in with the lever all the way open, and guys, this is on the Gamma Ergo, I believe with the fade blade. So we're gonna go up about a half an inch, set our first guideline, and then we can start to work that line out from the bottom. Now as far as I know, guys, he is gonna fade his way down within this section, so we did the lever all the way open at the top. Go ahead and close it halfway and he will go most of the way up into that section. It's gonna lighten up the guideline and then the last part will come in with the clipper closed at the bottom and take out that bottom guideline. Now guys, with my head tattoos, it does make it a little more difficult to see. I don't get a fade often, so not many people have faded on my head tattoos. To me, guys, I think it's easier, uh, but for video purposes, it is a little more difficult to see. So guys, just know he's working the clipper closed at the bottom of the section, clipper halfway open in the middle and open at the top. Now 
Now for the next section, guys, we're gonna come in with the one guard all the way open. And because he's already established this weight line and all that, he's gonna be very careful and basically try to flick the one into the two that's above it. So we're just softening up the line above the open clipper and we're really trying not to make a guideline in all that weight above. So you're not really gonna see that. We're just gonna start to lighten up that line and then we can close it up and come and take the bottom part of that line out. Now he's gonna come in with a zero guard and try to work that last hint of a line out between the two sections. From what I can see, he blended that one right into the length on top. So pretty much we're gonna be finished with this side. We will come in and do a little bit of clipper over comb to connect the white line, then we can move on. Now here he has switched to the wall half guard. And I'm not sure about you guys, but if any of you guys use the Babelist guards, to me the Babelist half guard is almost like a one guard. It's a little bit thicker. Um, so the wall half guard is gonna work a little bit different. I think right here he is coming in with the wall half guard to make sure that he has that line all the way out between these two sections. Then we're gonna be done with this side. We'll go ahead and line up the vertical bar and get the rest of this weight cleaned up. Now he's gonna come in and do a very slight clipper over comb on the very edge of the weight. We wanna make sure that it's just not sitting too heavy. Um, so you can see he's just gonna take off anything that's hanging past that that six guard originally didn't get, just to soften that up. Now we'll go ahead and get a decent little sharp edge up on the vertical bar. Not too much, just a little bit, just to clean it up. Then we can move on. Now moving on to the top, he has me basically parted down the middle, more or less, leaving the front out so that I can save my hairline. You guys know I have a receding hairline. So everything else he's coming to the side, to the weight that we created to make sure that nothing's hanging past. You see, he's just gonna kind of comb it and look for anything that hangs past, like right here. Go ahead and clean that up before we move on to the rest of the top.
on top. Guys, we're gonna cut this a little bit specialized. I asked for him to kind of comb until all the hair that he was grabbing didn't affect the front. So basically the back half of my head, we're gonna go ahead and comb up and point cut, give it a little bit of texture, and you guys can see how heavy it is in the middle right there. He will take that middle section vertically, and I kind of call it like a unicorn. All that hair right up in the front makes a peak in the middle, so he will take that out to make sure it's not too heavy in the front, and then you guys can see the finished product. I was gonna go in and add some sea salt texture spray. Guys, usually I just use 245 indestructible clay. I'm gonna let JT do his thing. So he's gonna add some sea salt spray, come in with the diffuser, get the hair all the way dry and textured. Then we'll add some product on top to give it the final look. Now we're gonna add some 245 Pure Powder, guys. This will add that dry look and that texture and finish it up nice and clean. You guys can check it out. Alright guys, that is the finished cut. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is a mid fade on the sides with a crop on top by my man JT Faded. You guys go follow him on Instagram. If you guys like this video, smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this cut. Make sure you guys subscribe. I got a bunch more content coming. Like I said, I will be off for three weeks, but I have a lot of content pre-recorded and I'm working on editing it. It will be out every week while I'm off. I appreciate you guys watching as always and I'll catch you guys next time.